feel slightly wobbly. I can give you an extra ear. Ah, oh, you're pulling my finger out. Weirdly enough, greasy fudge ring was my name in high school. Ah, well, yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> oh, great. Are you excited? No. If you're wondering why I'm dressed as a juggalo today, I don't know, but quarantine is one hell of a drug. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is not what I do at all, so um, probably don't subscribe because I won't be doing this again, I don't think. Today we have a special guest on the show. I don't even know what this show is. Quarantine has gone to us all. We can't get our nails done, can't get our hair cut, can't get waxed. So everybody's hairy and ugly now. Don't look at me. I've decided today to bring the salon into the home and to cut my boyfriend's hair. I've watched one and a half tutorials, so I'm sure this will be fine. And um, I now consider myself a pro, so yeah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. And if you're wondering why I'm dressed as a juggalo today, I don't know, but quarantine is one hell of a drug. So I've prepared a flat accordingly, and we have plastic sheeting on the floor to catch all the bloodshed. And introducing today's special guest. Ta-da! Oh, I'm being so bright now. <laughs> you actually look like a hostage. You feeling confident? Yeah, I've got complete faith in you. I, I don't. This is gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Plus we've got three weeks for my ears to grow back. I don't think ears grow back. This is the problem. I can give you an extra ear. Right, how do we start this? I mean, it's hairier than usual. How many inches have I got on there? About two, I reckon. So usually I go down to a zero on the back and the sides. Let's start by trying out the clippers, which we haven't tried yet. Shave upwards and then outwards is what it said. It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm standing on a really slippery surface, so yeah. this can only go well. Hang on, let me give a beer. Why, why have I not got a beer? You get a beer as a reward after you've cut my hair successfully. And not have a shot? Yeah, I'll hold my ears out of the way for you. I believe in you. Thanks. <laughs> some people vote. Can you make me look like this, please? Keep it up there for reference. Oh. But what do your hairdressers do? Uh, comb it all down and then just trim it from the bottom. Ah, well, yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> oh, great. Part there and go up. I guess. I'm thinking I might start on a slightly bigger bit of hair. Oh, do you want to start at the back and work outwards? Yeah. Do you usually have it square at the back? I can't remember. They, they ask me every time, and every time I'm like, what did I say last time? Shall Let's I do see. your neck first? It, yeah, it's not even going to touch the hair on my neck. Ooh, is it feeling good? <laughs> and I'm going up to the bony bit of your head that sticks out. Yeah. And then flipping it up from there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, do that. That'd be fine. Yeah, I reckon you're doing all right there. I mean, obviously, when I go into the hairdressers, I think, oh, I'm going to come out looking like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. What I think I usually end up with is Stork from Animal House. If you look that up afterwards, you'll you'll know what it means. I don't know how to do this bit here. It's fine, I've got rubbery ears. I know you've got lovely ears. Does that feel like they usually go up to around about there-ish? They usually go way higher than that. Start low, because we're going to do another layer, because this is set on six millimetres at the moment, which is really long. We're going to do three millimetres after this, and then you'll really be able to see where it's going. Are you going do the left side of my head. Sorry if I'm clamping your head down. <laughs> you dominant. Show me who's boss. It's the only way you will learn. Oh, it feels good to have a haircut after after all this time. I'm just hoping oh, I yeah. can fade it in. Is it floofing out like a broccoli at the moment then? <laughs> yeah. You just got a very noticeable line going around here. I need a mirror. I can't, I can't see any of this. <laughs> oh. What are you going to call this haircut? A mistake. Okay, it's called a geek pie and I invented it. Oh yeah. How's yeah. that feeling? Is that feeling better? Yeah, that, feel, that feels better. Okay. Are you ready to go down a notch? I think I need to start fading it in somehow, so I need to go like... More like that. Right, three millimetres. Mm. How's that? Is, it, is that making an impact now? Yeah, it's looking much cleaner. Getting hair in my beard. That's how it tastes better. That's why I've got hair of the dog. Yeah, I think for the bits around your ears, I might have to just get the scissors. That's okay, when you get down to the zero, okay. everything will come off. Are you getting more confident? Uh, do you want to not move? No, I love moving. Your hair grows in two different directions at the back here. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. <laughs> so this is to do the bottom bit, yeah? This is, yeah, this is it. Just go over the bit you've just done again. Bring all the hair back on yourself. Well done. Ah, elbow me in the fanny. Now I've got all this hair where I wanted it. It's sideways now. I don't know what you've done. Same thing you do with the duvet. Two hours later. Sit down, shut up. 
when you cut the hair it goes rah, rah. That's how you know you're doing it right. Oh, I feel like that it's not blended at all. You doing okay? You're doing great, sweetie. I oh. believe in you. What have you done now? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just ignore that bit. <laughs> Oh, sorry baby, you got a bald bit on the back now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. How do you manage that? It's all set to one setting. Well, you kind of got a wedge here, and I don't know whether to cut into that anymore. Well, we'll stop and have another look through it in a minute. Oh. Let's have another quick look. This is the point where you may draw blood unless you're careful. You've got to decide where to stop shaving my neck before it becomes my back hair. Okay. Just, just keep going down. all the way around my back. <laughs> See when you want the told that he is. Clippers getting really hot. Have you ever cut anybody's hair with clippers before? Nope. Are you ever going to do it again? Mm, maybe. Depends how much you like it and if you want me to do it again. Guess that depends how long the quarantine lasts, eh? Yeah. Dunno, you might love it and then... Yeah, and then I'll just have you doing it every couple of days. <laughs> this is how hairdressers do it, yeah? Yeah, that's the hand. <laughs> you yourself a little drinky? I probably should, shouldn't I? What am I drinking? Well, um, I don't think we've got any more alcoholic beer. Straight onto the gin, you say. You want to have a look in the mirror? I'm going to have a look using this. You'll see what I mean about it not being faded. It's a bit severe. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 get my t-shirt in so everybody can see how cool it is. Get my t-shirt in so everybody can see how cool it is. We both be both be dumb. Be bo be bo 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 Add one beer and a sip of gin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We bought both of these t-shirts in New York, but on separate trips. That's that's pretty good. It's a bit, yeah, you're right, it's a bit severe there. But I reckon, yeah, with, with this next step, it'll trim it up nice. Bit of um, product on top so it's not so flat. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more fresh. Good. That's great. Let's knock this out and then hit the snacks. Is it's it level? Yeah. Hang on. I don't think they use those in hairdressers. How's it looking? Mm, that is level. Now the gin and rum's kicked in, we've abandoned the towel. Who abandoned the towel? <laughs> we have. Together. <laughs> this is going to be the transition from shaver. The shaver's time is done, and now we're on to actual scissors. But we don't have a spray bottle that hasn't got... Domestos in it. You think that's wet enough? A bit, a bit more wet than you harm. What have you got in your hair? A bit of fudge, a bit of... American crew powder. Is this why the bath spray. always has a weird greasy fudge and ring around it? This, that's from my butt. <laughs> Weirdly enough, greasy fudge ring was my nickname in high school. How are you feeling about the old top top hair cutting thing? I feel like I can't mess this bit up too much. Famous last words and all. If I comb it backwards like yes. this and then go across, section it out, pull a bit forward and then just cut section by section. Yeah. If you sit still, it'll be Duh, easier. Unlikely. That, that feels well professional. I, I, I recognise that sound. When, whenever I come back from a normal hairdresser, Nikki always, I usually agree, well, I always agree, that they've cut off too much. I it think. Was too much off the length. Yeah. Sure. I think the problem with barbers and hairdressers, bless them, is they love cutting hair. And if you give them a head full of hair, they don't want to cut it all off. We're going for not very much off the top at all. So I get some Conan O'Brien height going on there, yeah? Yeah. That's the plan. I get the feeling that you're feeling more confident with this whole scissors thing, yeah? Yeah. Good. Well, well done with the with the shaving. That was good. I felt good. Yeah? No, I couldn't feel it at all. Okay. Doing the fade up at the side now, yeah? Mm. Have you got the fadey scissors? Are you using them? No. You, you didn't like them. You, well, now it's, now it's wet. It'll be fine. Oh, you're fucking. Oh, you're fucking. You really hurt. Only because I'm a fanny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A few inches later. So I. Yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say it's just the hair and run through and cut out some chunks. Cut some chunks out, yeah. <laughs> so now we need to style it and see if it actually looks like an actual haircut. Uh, how bad I thought it was looking earlier on. I don't think it's looking too bad now. We've got a slight line around the side. I think it's going to be okay, you know. I always see hairdressers rubbing all the product between their hands first. So I'm sure this will make it look good. <laughs> Doesn't hurt, you big fanny. <laughs> Ah. Well, if you didn't ram your head back every time I touched it, you'd be all right. This is the worst hairdresser I've been in all week. Well, stop moving your head backwards. Done. <laughs> what have you done to me? You've marred my beauty. How about this? Sort of a late 90s David Beckham type mohawk, yeah? Yeah. You're going to speak to the manager. Early 2000s <laughs> Fallout Boy. 
There we go. All I can feel is that that feels really fluffy. You just sort of like it kind of ruffled, don't you? Really yeah, like messy, messy side. sideways a bit. Like, um, is that guy off Lazy Town? He's my style icon. <laughs> Nailed it. I just turned you into Jimmy Neutron. I'm gonna have a look at myself now, close up in the camera. To see what it's yeah, that's quite like John Robb, that is. That's Who? good. John Robb. Who? John Robb. Um, Who? Johnny Bravo. That's all right. Good. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'll do yours. No. Thank you for joining us for today's video. You are out of shot. Yeah, thank you. I hope you're all surviving properly in, uh, in quarantine and your hair's looking almost as good as mine. Yeah, slightly a razor head, but oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll grow out. David Lynch is the boss. So if you like that, as I said, I don't do this at all. So probably don't subscribe if you're in it for hairdressing videos. But if you like history or uh, weird stuff, um, people generally messing about, then please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you probably never if you're not subscribing. But if you are subscribing, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.